is a good brew. As you might know, I've got a new single, a brand new song coming out this week on Friday. It's called Attention. I'll put the teasers and the pre-save links down below so you can check that out. I sent the song to one of my friends who really likes it, which is great, and they asked me if I was going in a new direction, which I thought was really interesting, um, because that's not something that I have consciously thought about, but this song is definitely an evolution from my previous pop songs. It's a little bit harder sounding, a little bit darker, a little bit more minimal. I wanted to talk about this new direction thing. I'm not going to start doing a bunch of ASMR videos, by the way. After thinking about it properly, I came to the conclusion that I sort of am going in a different direction. It's not something that I've done on purpose, but I'm just having fun and I'm excited to see where it goes. So previously, I think I've put a lot of pressure on myself to make a certain type of music, to keep within my brand. And that is the type of music that I make when I'm stripping back a popular song into an acoustic cover. So just a single guitar, a single voice, really simple, sentimental, stripped back music. I think those sort of quieter, stripped back moments are where I feel closest to the lyrics of a song. You can really get down to the core of a song and really feel what it's all about when it's stripped back. However, at the moment in the studio, I am trying something new and that is simply a mindset. Trying to just let whatever happens, happen. Because I think that, obviously I'm an independent artist and I do generally, I do make what I want, but I don't think it would be right for me to take for granted the amount of creative freedom that I have. There's nobody telling me that I need to make a certain type of music or a certain song or sound a certain way, but I've been thinking to myself, I need to sound a certain way or I need to do this, whereas now I'm just like, this is the idea for the song that's in my head. It sounds like this. I'm just not limiting my creative expression, basically. I don't feel like I did that with the Red album. My debut album of 14 original songs was exactly what I wanted to make, but I think I still had those voices in my head a little bit. I was still thinking, maybe I need to put an acoustic track here, or maybe I need to do this, and I'm, I'm kind of, I just wanna think less about what I need or should do, and more just what feels right, what is best for the song. With the tracks coming out after this new one as well, they're probably gonna feel a little bit different. I don't know right now how that's gonna translate, and that's something that I find really exciting, just the possibility of what could be created. So this new song, Attention, is more alt-pop and harder-hitting pop than singer-songwriter. And I feel like with each EP release and with my album release, I've slowly been evolving this more sort of alternative pop sound. The next singles that follow on from this single will be a slightly different sound from this single. I don't want to make everything sound the same, of course, but I don't want to make stuff sound different just for the sake of sounding different. So basically what I'm doing every time I go in the studio now is just thinking, what is the best for this particular song? what feels right for this song and for this emotion, what kind of vocal delivery is best for this. My mindset behind it is if I go into the studio and I want to record something in a particular way that feels very natural and very right for that song and for me, then surely what I will be creating overall when all of the songs come together, album two, hint, hint, then that will be authentically me. When you pre-order or pre-save attention, post a screenshot of that to Twitter, tag me in it, and make sure your DMs are open. Everybody who pre-orders or pre-saves is going to be invited to a private listening party, which is going to happen on Thursday the 2nd of May at 8pm BST. Thursday 2nd of May, 8pm BST. So make sure your DMs are open <laughs> on Twitter, and I'll send you that link and we will listen to the song before it's even been released and I might even play an acoustic version of it as well. And I really hope that you enjoy attention when it comes out on Friday and I'll see you then.